Welcome back to our Dorset trip. Uh, as you know, we had a bit of a hiatus from it to show you our dubbed out festival footage. Uh, we're back with part two. And if you remember, we finished part one uh, saying we were going to go and try and check out the sunrise the following day. So that's where we'll pick it up. If you did miss part one, don't forget to check it out. Link in the description. Morning. Morning. We have woken up. Well, we have woken up for the second time today in a beautiful morning. <laughs> I'm a bit blurry eyed now. I know, yeah. So um, you'll have just seen uh, hopefully what will be a cool montage of the sunrise here at the other door. Um, I don't know whether the footage was any good or not, so we'll see how it put, puts together, but hopefully it looks half decent. Uh, so I think we got up about four, didn't we? Yeah. Walked down. Um, which actually was such a nice temperature then, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was lovely. Just beautiful. Great for the dogs. Absolutely. Um, yes, yeah, so you've just seen that. Then we came back, had a bit more sleep, and then got up properly to start the day. Yeah, we did. It was great to see Durdle Door, like, empty. Yeah, there was like two, was there two people on the beach? Three people on the beach? Yeah, there was a couple on the beach, and then like a, another a photographer went down as well. Yeah, I mean, that's about it, like three people on the beach. The couple on the beach seem maybe they'd stayed there all night, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because every time we've been down while I've been here, there's been loads of people there, and the beach's been packed. Yeah, if you, if you don't like um, peopley places, it's not <laughs> one for you, Dirt or Door. It's very peopley. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, it was really good fun. Um, hopefully, like I say, we've got some decent shots. Um, but yeah, now I think it's time for breakfast. Yes, that does sound like a plan. What are we having for breakfast? Sausages, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. I bought some Cumberland sausages from the uh, site shop because we were supposed to bring some with us and we forgot them. We did. They're in um, the freezer. They are. Um, <sighs> so yes, we're going to have some sausage for breakfast. Well, it's been a pretty chilled day today. We have not done a lot at all. We've just spent our time keeping the dogs quiet, in the shade, keeping cool. They've been very relaxed today, just chilling out. I'm just gonna cook some dinner now. Um, we are doing a dinner that we've often done on the channel, which is uh, stuffed pasta with uh, just a sauce and a bread. It's a bit of a boring dinner, but uh, quick and easy dinner and then after dinner we are going to be going to Old Harry Rocks I think Lou said it was uh, which is about half an hour drive hopefully the sun will have gone down I think we're on about leaving about half seven ish um, so the sun will have gone down a bit It'll be a bit cooler to walk the dogs and uh, see that so right let's get this dinner cooked <laughs> There we have it. Stuffed pasta, sauce, garlic bread that I've burned like an idiot. Right, let's eat. Right, so we've had dinner, we've cleared up and we've given it a couple of hours to hopefully cool down a bit. It's now sort of like half seven-ish. And we're off to the most easterly part of the Jurassic Coast, which is Old Harry Rocks. Um, hopefully it'll be a cool little thing to look around. Um, what is it, Lou? It's... um. I think there's a stack, like a, a sea stack, and a, and a stump there. 
I just, I just think they look really cool. Yeah, in, in essence, it's basically a geological feature of the landscape, isn't it? Yeah. In essence, so some some rocks off the coastline, I guess. Yeah. Um, they look like they're bright white, so hopefully there'll be a really cool contrast with the, the colour of the water. Yeah, they, they're chalk, aren't they, basically? Yeah, I assume so, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we're off to there. Obviously, give the dogs a bit of a walk, and now it's cooled down a little bit. And, uh, yeah, see what it's like. Right, we've parked at South Beach Car Park, which is a National Trust car park. It is in Studland, isn't it? That's yeah. like the villagey, I don't know, it might be a town, I don't know, small place anyway. Yeah, it's a small place. Um, and then we've just, literally just down from the car park is the uh, Bridal Way that goes all the way to Old Harry Rocks. Uh, we actually passed the pub, didn't we? Yeah, really with nice a, looking yeah, pub with actually. Yeah, a huge outdoor, outdoor beer garden, looks like might be a potential for a little, little tipple on the way back, I think. Um, depending how long it is, I just said ideally I don't really want to get back and have to hook like, the awning the van up back up and everything in the dark. In the dark, because I don't know how successful we would be at that. Um, yeah, attaching the driveway awning back up yeah. in the dark. Yeah, I, don't know, I think we'd manage it, but yeah, it just might take a bit of fiddling, mightn't it? But um, no. yeah, so we're on the way to Harry Rocks. It says old Harry Rocks. Sorry, it says it's about a mile down here, um, but we'll see. I don't know. What it's going to be like i mean at the moment it's a very sort of well there was a little bit of a gradient but it's a relatively flat well-trodden path at the moment isn't it yeah yeah the, fir the first bit went up a bit didn't it but now yeah. it's flattened right but out google said it was mostly flat so yeah um hopefully that is correct Oops. but yeah we'll make our way down here and we'll uh, head to old harry rocks Well, Old Harry Rocks was definitely worth the, the walk to it. Really amazing piece of geology. Yeah, incredible. And I think you sort of stood there just looking out of it. You don't really get a sense of how amazing it really is. Obviously you get the drone up, or I guess if you're, if you're on the water, on the boat or a jet ski, you really get a sense of how amazing it is. Like the drone shots really made it look amazing. Yeah. Like how like rugged it is. Yeah. It? how carved out it is by There's the season. so many yeah. different shapes, isn't there? Like, yeah, it's just... absolutely. And bright white as well. Yeah. Absolutely bright white. Because the sun's like really bright, yeah. isn't it? Uh, it's but, like yeah. shining on the chalk. Old Harry Rocks. Why on earth is it called Old Harry Rocks? Like? <laughs> well, actually, when I was looking up about it, I saw... There's I've like got, three I've got it there. There's possible three, variations. There's three theories about why it's called that. So I've got them on my phone, so I'll read them out. So, one legend says that the devil, traditionally, traditionally known euphemistically as Old Harry, slept on the rocks. <laughs> so that's number one, the devil slept there, then he was called Old Harry. Brilliant. Number two is they were named after um, Harry Pay, who was an infamous pool pirate. He, he hid his ship behind the rocks awaiting passing merchantmen. So 
a pirate. The, so the other one was, he's, yeah, the second one was he's named after a pirate. Yeah, yeah. The rocks are named after a pirate. And then the third one is that there's a 9th century Viking raid was thwarted by a storm and that one of the drowned, Earl Harold, was turned into a pillar of chalk. <laughs> so one of the pillars is actually a Viking. Yeah. So all so, <laughs> sound equally as unlikely as the next. <laughs> They're all pretty unlikely. I do, uh, don't you often find with these things though, like it starts out of one thing and over the years, past stories passed down and it just gets yeah, embellished. Yeah, different people and, make different things uh, up, And don't then they? it just becomes completely a, like, <laughs> it's probably something really simple, but yeah, those, those are the scenarios. But yeah, lovely walk down to here. Uh, at the old Harry Rocks. Yeah, it's quite an easy walk actually, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? Yeah, absolutely. Pretty much flat. There's a slight incline at the start. But it's not very long, is it? It might be time to see if we can get a pint in that pub before we go back. Yeah, sounds good. Cool, let's head there then. Well, we've come back to the pub that we passed, which is the Banks Arms Inn. I think that's how you pronounce yeah. it. <laughs> it's really busy, actually. What a beautiful pub this is. It's though. lovely. Like a stone-built pub, real old-school sort of vibe to it. I love yeah. it. It's so cool. Awesome view from the beer garden Yeah, as well. a huge beer garden. There must be like 30 tables out here. Um, but yeah, really cool. Yeah, um, you can see the sea over there, yeah, can't you? Yeah, you really can. Can't you can see that behind us. And if you can or not. Yeah. So yeah, you've gone for a carling and I've gone for a stalcombe, did I say? Stalcombe. Stalcombe um, pale ale. Lovely. I, I always like a carling. Yeah, I know, I know yeah. it's nasty beer, but I just really like it. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're gonna drink these and then try and head back, hopefully before dark. Yay. Which should be fine. So we'll catch you when we get back. Morning. Morning. You are joining us from Lulworth Cove. Uh, we've driven down here today, which is probably, well, it's one mile in the in the van. Uh, probably took about five minutes. Um, and the main reason we did that was because it's a really steep, like descent down to here and then ascent back. And I think we thought it was probably best to keep the dogs a little bit quieter and yeah. drive down here. And also it's like five minutes up the road. so. It didn't really make much difference, but yeah, I think we're going to spend a bit of time on the beach today, aren't we? Certainly for the for the morning. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because I can tell Saber's eating something behind me. Saber, stop it! He keeps eating bits of dirty, dry seaweed. Yeah, I don't know why he's eating the seaweed. Um, but yeah, we've made a little lunch, which is in the van, which we can't get when uh, we're ready for something to eat. It's overcast today, although the sun will come out later on this afternoon, so it's much cooler for the dogs today. Yeah. Which is one of the reasons why we said it'd be nice to have a beach day today. Yeah, come down early as well, so that we're not in danger of them get overheating or anything. Absolutely, and the water looks amazing here, so yeah. hopefully, if the sun does come out, we might have we a dip. We may have a dip. It depends how nice it is. You'll have yeah. to excuse if there's any wind noise. We forgot to the little um, fairy things for the mics. We did, but yeah, hopefully that'll be all right.
Well, we had a lovely time at Lulworth Cove. Um, lovely place that is, isn't it? Yeah. The water's super calm, really shallow as well. We both went for a swim, didn't we? And it's like, yeah, like, like you even just... you go like 20 meters out, you can still stand up. Yeah. Like, and there's, it was a bit like you had to be careful because there was rocks under there and like seaweed kept touching your legs. Oh, which yeah, was I wasn't horrible. keen on that. <gasps> yeah, it was lovely there, wasn't it? Water temperature, nice. I would say similar to Dirt Door. Yeah, similar. Uh, it's so cold. quite, yeah, fresh basically, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it was quite nice. And then um, basically as, as the sort of day got on, the sun really started to come out, clouds have sort of cleared. So I think about half 12 or something, it was getting a little bit too warm for the dogs, wasn't it? So yeah. we sort of, uh, like, a bit of retreats back yeah, to the van. Yeah, we took them back. Um, and then on the way back, we stopped at, is it Purbury? Purbeck. Purbeck, that's it. Purbeck ice cream and had an ice cream. And I think you, well, we both had actually honeycomb, we had a two scoop, didn't we? Honeycomb and salted salt caramel, caramel, which yeah. are really, really good. We enjoyed that. And then, yeah, went back to the van and, and headed back here, basically. And we've yeah. sort of chilled in the shade ever since, really, haven't we? We both went for a shower. Yeah, that's why I look like Hagrid, because I've, <laughs> I've, <not, laughs> I've not done anything with my hair, I've just let it dry. Yeah, so oh. it's really quiet this afternoon, actually, isn't it? I don't yeah. know whether we're in that in-between period where people are leaving, people are coming, you know, it's like, what, middle of the week, isn't it? Or just past the middle of the week, isn't it? Yeah, what is it, Thursday today? Thursday today, today yeah. yeah. But yeah, so it's really quiet tonight, tonight, today. Um, so yeah, and then I think we're going to possibly pop down to the Man of War bar and get, or maybe a beer and some pizza for dinner, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think that'll uh, be a nice end to the day, I think. The dogs had a little paddle, didn't they, as well? They did, yeah. Dallas probably went in the furthest we've ever seen him go in, I reckon. Yeah. And they're just right. literally just flat out at the moment, aren't they? Yeah. I think we've tied them out on the beach today. But yeah, that'll be it for us for a bit, won't it? Yeah. Till we can get some nice beer and pizza out of the Manor War Bar. Well, we just had some lovely pizza at the Manor War uh, Bar and Restaurant. Nice, wasn't it? Yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I think from what, what you just said, they're struggling with chefs at the minute, aren't they? They've had a chef walk out. Yeah, so I don't know if he's walked out, but it's, it's a, chef's well, it's just left. Left. a chef's left, yeah, yeah. Pre like pretty like short notice, I think. Yeah. And then the other one's on holiday. So, so they've literally got kitchen porters in yeah, the kitchen. Yeah, so I think they're running a minimalized menu, but to be fair, mm. pizza was good. We had pizza, yeah, it was good, really good. You had a barbecue chicken pizza. Mm. Mm -hmm. and I had a meat feast pizza. Yeah. yeah, very good, enjoyed that. And we're just on uh, beers, aren't we? I think mm. Dorset both Pale. on the Dorset Pale, yeah. You, you were liking that as well tonight, weren't you? Yeah, it's really good. Mm. Yeah, it's actually cooled down. We're sat in the shade It's here. actually quite it's cold. Quite, there's quite a breeze in it. It's actually, I think if you were sat in the sun, you'd still be pretty toasty warm, I think. Yeah. But it's actually cooled down in the shade. It's almost to the point where you're, well, you can see I've got a hoodie on, so, you know, it's gone a bit cool, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, what a lovely day it's been. Obviously, uh, Lulworth Cove this morning. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Which was really, really nice, really pretty. Um, obviously a bit cooler, and then it's got really warm this afternoon where we've just sort of chilled around camp and done some maintenance stuff like, you know, emptying the toilet, yeah, filling the water. Or, did all the know, chores, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, basically. I think we've still got the washing up to do. Yeah, we have left some washing up. Uh, which I'm guessing we're gonna have to do. Um, Yes, but a few chores around that around that you have to do when you're away, don't you? Yeah. Unfortunately, when the you're toilet in. being the worst one. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and then um, yeah, we'll just sort of chill and then come here for a sort of pizza and pint. It's, it's good. So yeah, I think we'll have another pint, which we're on with now, and then I guess head back to the van. Yeah, I think so. So the bar has got gravy bones on it, and the dogs don't realise that Lou got gravy bones. Boys, would you like a biscuit? Oh, a gravy bone. Can I have your best sits then? Good boy, oh, good boy ah, ah. Good oh. boys. Now I just have to watch, make sure Sable doesn't get Dallas as well. <laughs> Which is basically a thing that happens all the time. Sable doesn't chew, he just swallows his whole. <laughs> Don't you? Awesome. That's nice to touch, isn't it, having biscuits on the bar? It's a massive jar as well. Yeah, yeah.